everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ranta's Reviews. My name is Kevin Ranta and I'm very excited to share with you what is in this box. Uh, this is actually a company that has partnered with me on my review channel um, and has asked me to review one of their products being an electric razor. So I'm very excited to review this razor because I have the traditional clipper like the Manscaped I've shown. I have the Dollar Shave Club manual razor. This is gonna be the first electric shaver that I'm actually going to be using that has a two-in-one regular standard three blade head and a clipper piece in the back. I haven't used a razor like that since high school. Um, I almost felt like as I grew up into an adult, using razors like that aren't exactly, you know, what I wanted to be sticking around and using. So the fact that I have the opportunity to check one out, review it again, I'm very excited. So without further ado, let's get into this box. So as you can see, the company's name is Lemiral. Um, I actually got connected with them uh, through Fairy Will. They're the water flosser that I reviewed, and they asked me if I wanted to review this electric razor. This thing's from another company, but anyway, I like to tell the story behind how I got these products. Most of them I buy. Anything off Amazon, I usually just buy, but uh, stuff like this, I love when people reach out to me and ask, hey, do you want to review our product for us? So. Without further ado, we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna read a little bit of the product information um, and I'm gonna be putting up some of the features and benefits of this product behind me as I talk about them. So, product information. Equipped three detachable rotary blades, including two replaceable rotary heads and pop-up sideburn hair trimmer. So again, I'm excited for the pop-up hair trimmer because it has the two-in-one option. Three independent rotary blades offer a clean, close shave that contours to the shape and design of any face. That's great. I've been told I have a round head, so I'm like looking forward to seeing if this can actually shave my round head as it's saying. Uh -huh. 1.5 hours of charging time will deliver over 60 minutes of consistent shaving, all powered by 600 milliamp NIMH battery. 60 minutes for 1.5 hours of charge, that's not bad, 60 minutes consistently. That's probably five shave, five minutes to do an entire shave. That's probably like 12 shaves a month that you can do. Uh, the battery indicator shows the charging status. The travel lock function can be activated by pressing and holding the on off button for three seconds. So pretty good product information from what I'm looking at. Uh, motor power five watt, battery two by 600 milliamps. All right, so now we got some cool shots of the box. We've talked a little bit about it more. Let's go ahead and do the unboxing and dive right in. Uh, one thing I want to note is the packaging on this does not disappoint. I've mentioned it multiple times before on my channel. I love when a product has good packaging and this one does not disappoint. Slide that open. Shabadoo! Nice plastic cover, nice coating. This is a very simple, like, very simple box design. I find it to be like, you just have your razor and you got your little power adapter. Very fast. Take this little guy out inside the box. Inside the box we got what seems to be the razor head with the tri-blades on it, which is cool. I love this design because in addition to being able to shave with just uh, your you know, regular razor by itself, you can also put shaving cream on and shave the shaving cream with this type of razor. I don't really think you can do that with clippers, or I assume you can, but it might not be as smooth. So I'm excited to try out these smooth tri-blades. Ooh. Now here's the real thing, here's the real kicker y'all that I'm gonna see, is I am always like to see if something's durable, if something's lightweight, if it's like not heavy duty. Ooh. So this thing is already a bit heavier duty than I expected it to be. It's not like a weight, but it's, it feels durable. Feels good in the hand. Um, something I noticed too was, check this out. We got two blades. I didn't even know you get two blades. You know how rare of an occurrence it is that they will send a replacement 
tri-blade head with the original razor, because I don't, but probably not frequently. I tell you what. Let's go ahead and open this, see in the bottom, we've got charging cable. It seems like the same charging plug for my water flosser, electric toothbrush, so shouldn't have any issues charging that guy. Nice little manual. You know what we say about reading the manual? Season one was like, reading the manuals for yellow bellies. Season two, we're like, okay, the manuals are actually pretty helpful in uh, these circumstances. And look at that. Get your one year warranty for free now. So Limuro, Limuro, I hope I'm saying that right, and Fairy Will have a lot of similarities in their products. And I like that. They hold themselves to a high standard. Common problems, they even tell you like, issues with the razor, maybe you're doing something you could be doing differently. So overall, looks really cool. I'm happy with the design of the razor. I'm a little, I'm a little intrigued by like right here, there's like this indent spot and I almost feel like it's for your finger. Like they want you to put your finger here or, yeah, not your thumb. I think it's for your middle finger. I think it's like a little, little notch, but I'll read the manual and I'll find out for sure. Let me just turn this on. That's the sound you'd like to hear. So, now that I've got your attention, we're done with the video. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and repackage this guy up real quick like. Um, but so far, like I said, first impressions, very nice razor. I'm very impressed with the fact that you get two tri-blade razor heads. Normally you get the razor and then you have to buy a replacement and it's pretty expensive. And then the... Oh yeah, this goes in here. Charging port, uh, very simple, very easy to use. And the ergonomics of the razor, very cool, but I'm not gonna know until I actually use the razor if it's, you know, if it's top notch or if I prefer my manscaped razor or manual shaving. So we'll see how this tri-blade razor and additional little trimmer compare against the other razors that I've used. So, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna read this stuff real quick too, just cause it's uh, most of their features. Maybe get a shot of that. I'm trying to hide from us. They're hiding from us. Three independent rotary blades effectively capture hair. Washable IPX6, so that's cool. IPX6 meaning it's water resistant, not waterproof. IPX7 I believe is waterproof, or maybe IPX6 is, but it's good to have water resistancy. LCD display, that's a cool little innovative technology to it. 1.5 hour fast charging, that's not bad. I wanna know like though if like your razor's dead and you're in a hurry and you charge it for 20 minutes, are you gonna get a full session or is it like need that full charge on there? So dive into that a little. 2.4 volt powerful motor, cord and cordless use. Oh, you can use it plugged in. That just answered my question. Some razors prevent you from using it when it's plugged in, so that's pretty cool touch switch, which I think is just the touch button, turn it on. Pop-up trimmer, uh, love that, can't wait to use that. Traveling lock. You can lock it so other people can't use it. That's cool. Battery power display, worldwide voltage, because the cable they gave you, you can plug into literally any type of outlet. That's cool, man. All right, I am very excited to use the Limeural rotary shaver for men. Uh, and if anyone cares, this is the RSCF-8305 model. And I like the little purple accent. I don't know, a lot of guys, they don't like, you know, colors that aren't manly or masculine. This purple looked nice. I tell you what. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Ranch's Reviews. I really hope you enjoyed the review video for the Limeural Rotary Shaver for Men. Uh, if you do, go ahead and check the Amazon Associates link in the bottom, uh, where you can not only buy a product of your very own, but you can support my channel here at Ranch's Reviews. Give me the opportunity to help create more videos and more content for you guys. All right, y'all, Kevin Rant at Ranch's Reviews. We are here with the Limeural Rotary Shaver for Men. All right, we have the Limeural Dominant Grooming for Men. Rotary Shaver. Love it. I love it. Said it was at 100% when we were doing footage of it, so should be at 100. By the way, I missed this during the unboxing. It was too clean. It's a little brush thing. 
So we're gonna focus on the shaver. We got the clippers on the back. Nice come out here. And the rotary head shaver. Little uh, performance meter. Tells you the battery life left on it. Let's go. A little button at the bottom. That lets you open it up, clean out the blades. Use the good stuff. And there are two ways to shave. You can use with shaving cream or without shaving cream. Traditionally, I'm used to not using shaving cream, but I'm gonna try it out with the shaving cream because I think that's probably harder for most blades to like keep up with. So we're gonna try with shaving cream. We are going to start by using the clippers because I don't wanna use this on long hair. As you can see, I've grown my hair out just for this occasion. So I'll start with the clippers. You'll be able to see what's good. My hair is a bit longer than what this thing is applicable for. I think it's meant more for like some of the thinner areas. And I'm gonna go ahead and say these things are meant for more of like your sideburns and maybe like the mustache a little bit. I think I'm going heavy duty using it on the whole face. But the fact is we getting through, we getting through a lot actually. I'm gonna just go from where I still have half my naked face, rest here, and I'm gonna try to use the shaving cream and we'll see if this is an absolute disaster or if this thing can like make it through most of my hair. We like getting experimental here in Ranta's Reviews. All right y'all, so we got lathered up with shaving cream. We're gonna see if the three head blade can take down the thick hair. So as you can see, for the most part, we managed to get the clippers to go like get rid of most of the long hair. With that in mind, some of the hair was real thick. Process of using this, this is like meant for sideburns or meant for like, you know, just mustache areas. This isn't meant to clip like your entire face like I was attempting to do, but it is still a very fine trimmer. Just don't bite off more than you can chew with it. Either use a regular razor or clip your hair before trying to clip your entire beard with this part. Uh, with that in mind, still works very well. So I have my shaving cream here. I'm gonna apply it and we will shave twice over now to get that baby soft, baby smooth face. We're gonna use the three head trimmer and see how smooth it can get us. So smooth. I like that it's waterproof. I'm getting it super wet. <laughs> IPX6, baby. Maybe seven. It's crazy how easy and how fast I can go around my face. All right, now that we got the whole face smooth, looking clean, we're gonna do the trimmer again on the sideburns. Sideburns, looking smooth. So we'll do a quick little rant as ranking system for the Limero electric razor. I initially was about to compare this to what I have as like my Manscaped like full trimmer. This thing is good if you're doing small areas, but not right for big areas. It started to take me forever to do it. I think this is still a very good piece, very good for like small areas, sideburns, maybe nostril even. And then the three head blade with shaving cream was really delightful. I didn't use it without it. Um, I have used electric razors before and I can tell the difference between using shaving cream and not using shaving cream, but if it can use it and it's got the water resistancy, then I would recommend using shaving cream that you can use at home, that you can travel with. There was no travel bag, no travel case, so this is more of a home unit. The little LCD panel was a nice touch. Overall for the product itself, the box it came in, shipping, and uh, generally for normal use case, trimming like my everyday beard. I would give this trimmer for my use case because I'm someone who likes to let my hair grow up thick and then shave it, sometimes trim it down. It's not quite the perfect product for me. So I myself would be giving it probably about like an 8.5 bordering a nine out of 10. But if you're an individual who likes to keep the five o'clock shadow like maintained every day and you need an everyday shaver, then I would give this a 10 out of 10. It has the best of both worlds, clipper on the back, three shaver head, CD panel, and I believe the battery life said consistent for about, Hey everybody, Kevin Ranch with Ranch's Reviews. I am here with the Lineural Electric Razor. And yesterday when I did my uh, first video for this, I was trying to shave literally like my entire beard down and then try to trim it normally. The big part about these trimmers is having this electric head to where you're able to shave like pretty much every day and maintain like the clean shaven look. 
So I've already got a little bit of the five o'clock shadow that's been growing in. I'm gonna clean it up here real quick. And I just wanna show you how easy it is. Now, even without shaving cream, this is very smooth. And the benefit of having a razor like this is the cleanup is real easy. Cause all you do is it gets trapped right in the top there and keep going. I just wanted to point out and show that this electric razor gives you the benefit of being able to shave literally every day or every couple days and maintain that smooth shave. We're still at 81%. Very nice. Thanks again for tuning into this episode of Ranters Reviews. I hope you enjoyed the review video for the Lineral Electric Shaver. Until next time, I'll see you on the next review.